right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach Start out. reaching out. We're going to rely on the good folks trying to save a dollar in New Jersey. We're bringing you the courses that aren't nine holes. There's the over nine holes that are affordable so let's start off at our first course on this list springfield at 34 dollars at night so when you pull in you can't really miss it looks like it's an old apartment complex but it is a building and then you go right into that golf shop the staff was wasn't too excited to see the golfers walking in but for the most part it's been raining for the last few days here so it's pretty busy at all the golf courses around brings you right into that first hole you got a road on the left hand side um, but this is a you know, pretty easy part for it to start us off. The price is right at this golf course. It's about $35 to play the course, and then only about uh, 45 if you want to add a golf cart to play with it as well. So it's not too bad, not that expensive of a course. And they also have a golf simulator there in the pro shop, it looked like. Now, the course is shorter than most, but it is a fun course. It's a... Uh, you can hit driver on most of these holes that are a par four, but you got to be careful. If you hit a 300-yard drive, you got a chance to, to to hit someone. The back tees are are not that much further back. A great golf course. I, I think they got memberships there. It looks like online they have some sort of deals. Uh, buy three greens, get one free for a hundred bucks. Uh, that's anytime. Buy three golf greens, receive one additional. That's a 25% uh, savings. Uh, the Associate Package is $225. Purchase the Associate Golf Course. And overall, this course does get your best bang for the buck. There's a couple fees associated with it, but for $34 walk out the door. It's still pretty reasonable. Moving us now into Crescent for $25. So we're moving in the right direction, saving money. If you're in Philadelphia, save a buck. And come down to Jersey. You end up going right through two holes. It's a par five and then goes into that number one hole on the right hand side. This is the clubhouse and it's a fun clubhouse to check into. And number one is pretty easy. I think it's most of these holes are pretty easy. Let's get real. It's only 4,800 yards from those back tees. Of course, opened in 1960 and is right across from the giant hospital in the area. Now, Crescent is an absolute gem that no one knows about because the marketing and advertising towards this golf course is pretty much independent. YouTube golfers like myself, World Twilight Golfer, trying to bring you the best cheap golf you can find around. Crescent Golf Club does not disappoint in that department. It's only a $30 bill to play the course, and there's actually 18 holes. It's not one of those nine-hole golf courses. But the thing that gets tricky is the holes are interesting. This is a long par five here. The biggest themes about this golf course is random fences throughout the course. As you can see right here, there's just a random fence. And some of the other ones are on the left-hand side here and on the right-hand side going over that uh, road when you check in. Now, before Crescent was a golf course, this area in 1893 was a sawmill that operated right there on the golf course. Now, the sawmill became a flour mill and then was used recently up to 1916. Also offers major discounts after three o'clock in the afternoon. It's about a $25 bill to $20 bill just to play the golf course and walk it. Things get a little bit interesting when you decide to use a golf cart. It's a $30 charge to use one golf cart. Between two people, it's $15. And with only 4,000 yards, it's a very walkable golf course, but with a high slope. It's a slope of 81 or 82. It doesn't even matter because we're going to be saving money along the way as we zoom on out. The next course on my list is a hidden gem when it comes to the Jersey Shore type golf. Let's take a look at Ocean City where there's 12 holes. Not a full 18, but you save some money. Course. That's about an hour and a half away from Philadelphia International Airport. And if you're headed to Ocean City, this is the course you're going to want to play. Because Ocean City Golf Course is the only golf course in Ocean City. And it's a municipal course nonetheless. But there's something about this course that's interesting. It's located right next to an airport. And some of the holes are constantly changing throughout the years. Now there is a lot of history and politics that we'll 
talk about in some other episodes about this golf course. Now there's really not much to the first hole here and I think it's about 27 yards. The course really only plays 1,560 yards and again there's only 12 holes and it's a par 37. This course is making up their own rules and as they could because it's a municipal course nonetheless. And we'll talk about the first hole a little bit more because the first hole used to be a little bit further than 27 yards and as you can see the holes as you move into four and five now my favorite holes are the back holes and we'll kind of talk about that the, the course was designed by Willie Dunn Jr. in 1969 and has a ranking of one or a 70 and a slope ranking of 113 now the first hole used to be about 60 yards and they moved it down to 27 because of the location change which we'll talk about on another video so keep a lookout for that one now as you move into some of the other holes they get a little bit further uh, the eighth hole is about 170 in the course itself well it's challenging to find a good parking spot in that area moving us into our second course for the best deal in south jersey that is Frog Rock at $25 with a golf cart. Can't beat that Going deal. To Frog Rock. Located in New Jersey. Another cool little course out in the Pine Barrens. Frog Rock is about 30 minutes from Philadelphia and another 30 minutes from Atlantic City. So right there, slap dab in the middle. Now it's located in Hamilton, New Jersey, which is the blueberry capital of the world. Well, at least it was. I'm not sure about that. Let me know in the comment section if I got that one right. Now, I love Frog Rock, and it's got a great price on it. It's about $21 to $31. When I went there, I think it was $22, $26 for credit. So, I mean, there's it, they, they're doing their own thing, and I respect it. 6,019 yards par 30. I'm sorry, par 72. And it was designed in 1969 by Richard Taylor. Now, I couldn't find any information on Richard Taylor. Let me know in the comment section if you got anything on him. I would like to update this because i like to add a couple golf courses designed by the, the architect. Now, the slope is a 118 and a ranking of 71.8. Again, the yardage is about 6,000 tops, but it can drop down to 4,800. From the back or the, the front tees in either or this course is affordable fun and i like playing there but depending on the time of the day you can have a six hour round if it's slow on the weekends moving into our number one golf course for a ten dollar bill and closing out our list here at number one what can you get for ten dollars well a green fee to this golf course here in new jersey we're outside of vineland we're going to take a look at a $10 bill golf course. At the interesting Wheat Road Golf Course. So the rumor is, at least from what someone told me on the range, is just go play the course and they'll find you and then you'll pay $10. All right, we're here. No one here to check in. Got 10 bucks with us, let's take a look. The course really is in someone's backyard. It was constructed in the late 80s, early 90s, at least that's what the grounds crew person said. You know how old the golf course is? Um, yeah. Pretty cool. I think it started in the 90s or in the eight, late 80s maybe. Okay, yeah, and I didn't see it online, so I was just kind of curious. Okay. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's nice and peaceful. Yeah, you got yeah. Some shade. The course used to be an old farm. That's where it got its name, Wheat Road. At least the area used to be an old farm. There's Wheat Road that comes through. A massive driving range with grass and turf options to hit off of, which is nice and it's pretty affordable. Not as affordable as the golf course. It's not really a big place to check in, but rest assured, there's a full thousand yard golf course here that's hidden ten dollars the cheapest course in New Jersey that I could find and the course really feels like you're in someone's backyard even checking in is very hesitant and if you can even play this golf course there's clearly one here it's kind of hidden between a lot of shades so you're gonna walk the course it's actually pretty good exercise the infrastructure of the course there's this 
concrete line that might have even been used during the parkway system when it was constructed. I'm going to take a look at it here. Since the course is open year round, you do have some mats to hit off of, but of course we like to hit off the grass just like you do. And uh, we recommend going a little bit further back so you get a little bit more money out of the course. It's only about a thousand yards. The reason for that infrastructure makes sense. There's a car dump right next door. And overall, the course doesn't even feel too much like a dump when you compare it to a $10 bill. The putting green surfaces were hands down the worst part of the golf course, but everything else felt fun and exciting. It's a lot of shade. It's a good summertime golf course. Not too many bugs floating out there. It's a solid 4.4 on Google with 67 golf reviews to choose from. And this one almost snuck by us. We weren't 100% sure if this was a golf course associated in this little chip and putt area. Some of the holes get a little bit further than others. 97, I think, was the furthest one, so that's a full par 3. And overall, I think each one of them takes a half of a full swing. But you can see right there, the putting green surfaces, you almost have to give it to you if you're close. Each one of the holes is around 50 to 70 yards total. Here's a good layout of the land. And some of the holes are nicer than others, but it doesn't take away from the experience. It can be a competitive round if you do play match play with someone. I actually realize it makes more sense to put the tripod a little bit higher up there to get some good footage of ball coming in. Overall, I thought the course was exciting. For the price, again, the $10 bill price, I think, is the biggest takeaway of this course. Everyone there was very friendly and inviting. It was on a Saturday, so this is prime time. We really still had the place to myself. The driving range probably was the highlight of the golf course because it's a pretty big driving range. It also has a Toyota truck that's associated with it that picks up the golf balls. That was new. That was exciting. I was happy to see that. Couldn't find any information about the overall golf designer of this course. We know it was built in that 90s, late 80s time frame. Hopefully, you could put some information down in the comment section if you're associated with this golf course. We're trying to learn a little bit more and bring some of the history back to the area. This is a big farm area, so we suspect that this was a farm when it was constructed. But overall, you can get really good at your short game here. You're never going to take out driver. You're only going to bring two or three clubs. And I also recommend bringing a walking cart. I think it kind of fills to that experience. You can hold the clubs, but I suspect that people have lost one or two wedges out here. The Trout National, the Mike Trout and Tiger Woods Golf Course in Vineland. So this is their competitor, <laughs> believe it or not. So as they build these exclusive private golf courses, remember these are the ones that chances are me and you will be playing. That's going to do it for our list. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. This is the Parfessor, an independent golf channel focused on fun, affordable golf in your area. If you're not watching, go play a little bit of golf today. Leave us with no more courses. If you made it this far and you're interested in learning, golfing, and growing together, take a look at the Parfessor, an independent golf channel focused on fun, affordable golf in your area.